Just want to get this out of the way very quickly. This would have been a FNAF movie video, but because I don't have much time to make this theory, that video is going to have to wait a while. Welcome to the third video that we've done on one of Golden Freddy Cinema's games. Now apparently, this game is being completed today, and Goldie has given me a half hour deadline before the final teaser and game name is revealed, so I kind of need to speed run making this video. Let's look at the first teaser. It shows a skeleton with red eyes, and the text above it reads, Where hinges creak in doorless chambers, where strange and frightening sounds echo through the halls, where candlelights flicker through the air as deadly still. Well, this text right here is a Haunted Mansion reference. For anyone who doesn't know, Haunted Mansion is a Disney film, and whilst Goldie has said that it isn't directed at that, he has confirmed that it is indeed a Haunted Mansion reference. When I first saw this image, I immediately thought of The Nightmare Before Christmas, which is another Disney film, mainly because I had been watching it all week long. And after a small bit of pushing in DMs, Goldie told me that Jack Skellington, the main character in the film, does in fact visit the game, more than likely as an easter egg. So, with that first image, we can't really do much, but it's the second image that interests me the most. The text here is practically useless, so let's focus on the picture. By doing a quick Google's lens search, we slowly start to get a lot of information. As you can see, we have plenty, and I mean plenty, of the same image. And after doing a bit more digging, I found that this lady right here is called Melanie Ravenswood, a protagonist in Phantom Manor's backstory. For anyone who doesn't know, Phantom Manor is a Disney attraction. And going back to the list of Goldie's past games, we do already have Phantom Manor the game, but we can go even further as to finding out what era this game is set in. By looking very closely at the wallpaper behind the portrait, and definitely not harassing Goldie to give me a picture of the wallpaper, we can see that this kind of vintage wallpaper was used between the 1920s and the 1970s. I know it's not an ideal time frame, but it tells us that the game is set in the mid 20th century. My guess, 1936, because why not? So, what do I think that this game is going to be? Well, based on all the evidence in today's video, plus the fact that Goldie said that he would remake Phantom Man of the game better than before, plus the fact that Goldie's last game was a Killer and Purple 1 remastered, which is practically the same as a remake, I think that the only option for this game is going to be a Phantom Man of the Game remake. I mean, it could also be a Haunted Mansion the game as well, but it seems less likely because Haunted Mansion and Phantom Manor are basically the same thing. So there you have it. We'll just have to wait about 10 minutes or so after this video gets uploaded to find out. There won't be a trailer reaction video if you're wondering, because Goldie has said that there isn't going to be a trailer. At most, there'll be a community post acknowledging whether I was right or wrong. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.